I wanted to see for myself the difference between a standard wireless antenna and one of those $30 add-on extender antennas, so I pried the rubber tips off of each with a small screwdriver. The only difference was the length and configuration of the wire inside. All the other components were exactly the same. The only difference was the plastic molding used to hold each. Now here's how you can easily turn a regular wireless antenna into a super extender antenna with twice the range and twice the power. All it takes is some small gauge solid copper wire, a large drinking straw, and a wood screw. Measure off two and three quarter inches of the wire and make a small bend. Starting at the bend, use the grooves of the wood screw as a template and make seven complete loops. This forms the coil that matches that in the extender antenna. Bend the wire flush to the screw and then remove the screw from the coil simply by twisting it. Measure off another three quarters of an inch and clip the wire. Then strip an eighth of an inch off the end. Cut the wire on your original antenna leaving about a quarter of an inch. Strip off the last eighth of an inch of insulation. Now solder this to the bottom of your new antenna form and it's just about complete. You can buy these larger diameter drinking straws at a grocery store or simply get one at a fast food restaurant. They're an absolutely perfect match for your original base and fit snugly. Using some black paint or a black magic marker to color the straw will give you a nice professional look. Using only about a nickel's worth of materials, you've just made your own super extender antenna. Attach your new antenna to your card, turn on your computer, and enjoy twice the range and twice the power. Thanks for watching, and have fun!